I've got Nicoli here from Pro Drone. Yes, sir. This is one of the most impressive drone products I've seen. I think actually, I'll just say it, it is the most impressive drone product that I've seen. It answers a lot of the questions that you have with drones. And now you've just stepped up the game by saying, oh, you want real cameras? Say hello to my little friends. Yes, you know, we, at, at ProDrone, we came out in September of yeah. 2015, and we spent about three years prior to that. We didn't necessarily really want to look at what companies like DJI or 3D Robotics did right, and they did a lot of things right. Absolutely. But we really wanted to look at what they didn't do right and fix it. And we figured it all came down to form factor. The biggest one was, how do you make something that is very easy uh, uh, to carry with you just about anywhere? So we took something and made it hyper-portable so that it folds out, right? We all know this one. This was uh, something that uh, made it uh, kind of revolutionary in its own right. Yes. But then we took it one step further. I love the form factor. And you can even fold, the, 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 the landing gears fold up as well, not obviously with that camera on it. Yeah, landing gear, the camera you know, fully comes, comes out, off. Yeah. All of our gimbals are fully uh, uh, interoperable with others. Uh, comes off in a couple seconds, you sure. put a, a, a 4K or a, a GoPro, or even one of our new IR cameras can go on here in just a couple seconds. The whole thing folds down to the size of a PlayStation. You've made it modular, but not modular where you need to sit there for hours to get it ready. It's just modular, like almost like an erector set. Boom, boom, boom. Exactly, yeah. I mean, it's like Legos, it's that easy. Yeah. We didn't want people to have to be electricians and learn how to solder to put a gimbal on. So talk about the way this is set up with that camera. That is what, an A7S? This is an A7S. Does wow. that a Mark II, which has the optical image stabilization in it as, uh, as well? It does. Wow, so you're, you start with that and then you put a gimbal on it. This must shoot beautiful 4K footage. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can, can I see how much this weighs? Absolutely, it is a heavy beast. Wow, what's the battery life like? The battery on this one, we get about 12 to 15 minutes worth of flight time Are you, with even something is that heavy. Are you serious? That's unbelievable. All right, tell me the rest of this, because I'm, I'm blown away. So this, for, for everybody out there that, uh, that And that's a beautiful know, Zeiss. Is that a 24 to 70 millimeter it lens? It is. Oh my god. So this is uh, uh, an absolute first in the drone industry. Okay. The first ever consumer drone under 25 yeah. pounds that has been able to lift and interoperate with mirrorless or DSR level cameras. And how much is this setup minus the camera? This is only $949. With the gimbal? With the gimbal, the gimbals aren't available now. They'll be yeah. out in Q2, but I can't imagine these gimbals being anything more than $150. So basically for like $1,100, $1,200, even if you said $1,300, you're going to be able to carry around your A7S Mark II on a drone that's collapsible, portable, modular. You can then slap that off and throw a GoPro on. You can throw a GoPro. And the other things that we've got available now and fully interoperable with uh, the, our controller is the, uh, on Sony's, you've got the, uh, the 100 uh, M4, you've got the Alpha 6000, and in those, we have yet another industry first for the drones, zoom factor. Are you serious? We've got full optical zoom, not just digital, but optical zoom. Wow. Now, obviously on the, uh, on the A7, we don't because it's a manual zoom. Sure. But the, M, uh, the, the 100 M4, and the, uh, uh, the, the other Sony uh, yeah. that we have, you've got full interoperable from controller zoom. Are you, can you focus uh, from the ground with this? Uh, not with this one, Yeah. Uh, but the other Sonys, the Panasonic G4, uh, we've got uh, the Black Magic, we've got Ricoh, uh, just about all of these cameras that people spend thousands of hours learning how to use throw it on this and you're ready to go. Wow, and is that gimbal tilt and everything as well? Uh, right now, this is just a static mount. Okay. In, uh, in Q2, uh, maybe as late as Q3, it will have full three-axis gimbals for just about every mirrorless and DSLR that you can think you're of. You're serious? Absolutely. And you're, it, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm really, I am. I, you know, I, I think that's phenomenal. It's unbelievable. And I think it's what you need to do to compete with the other players in the, in the industry. Um, and to be able to take drones to the next level and be able to shoot stunning footage. I, I really, I'm so impressed by this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, it goes to our commitment that we really want to focus in what consumers need. How, how did you get to Pro Drones? How did you get involved with this company? Ah, uh, yes, uh, I myself have been involved in the drone industry uh, going back three or more years uh, to the very first days when uh, DJI brought in the, uh, the Phantom original. 
uh, been working with the FAA, been working with uh, uh, the federal government as well as the state governments, specifically out of Austin, Texas, really wanting to make sure that these things are safe, but hyper usable for just about everybody from the average Joe all the way up to the very serious videographers. I, I am so impressed by this. Uh, ProDrones.com is where I go to find out more. ProDrone-tech.com, you can find out uh, all the updated news and where to buy. And how do I control this? It's, you have a remote controller, but can I use iPads to get visuals back and all this stuff? So we've got, uh, we've got a, uh, an app like most of the other drone manufacturers sure. have. The software stuff is pretty easy to replicate, the hardware much more. Uh, but we've got uh, an app that has all the traditional bells and whistles of the follow me, uh, be able to uh, uh, take and op uh, operate the gimbal separately from the controller, so you can have two people flying instead of just one significantly safer. Can you get video back? You've got full video downlink up to 1.25 miles. And it comes with it, you don't have to buy an extra downlink system. I don't mean, I don't mean to laugh at you, by the way, because it's just, it's like, I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing at this is amazing. Like, you're, you're blowing my mind at every step. We are doing things. It comes with it, you don't buy it extra. You don't buy it extra, it comes with it. It's full uh, OFDM. So wait a second, hold on, let me just get this straight. <laughs> For less than $1,500, because we don't know the price of the gimbal, I'm going to get a three-axis gimbal, this drone, a three-axis gimbal, an app that allows me to have video downlink up to 1.25 miles away, uh, return to home kind of feature, the GPS to follow me, all the other bells and whistles, somebody else can control the camera. It folds up modularly like that, and it will carry a camera that's realistically pretty heavy with a heavy lens for 12 to maybe 15 minutes tops, and obviously more time with like a GoPro style camera. You get about 30 minutes. Yeah. But wait, there's more? We're, oh, that's, I mean, that's really about it. We're going to have okay, more, we're going to have more in 2016. Say, like, I think that that's pretty spectacular, but I just thought like, maybe I'm, there's something else you're going to drop on I don't know. We're going to bring more stuff to you probably like, like in what? later 2016. We're keeping that under wraps uh, for I mean, now. You can just give me one like idea. Well, we're going to make things a lot easier to uh, be automated, especially around uh, battery charging. Really? Now, does it, it will feed me back battery information, altitude, all full, that stuff? Full telemetry, uh, everything up to wind speed. We so want to make sure you're not going too high, so we'll let you know when you, we get an alerts, yeah. when you're a little too high. And, and uh, can you put a ceiling on it? So like uh, uh, Dave was telling me last night, he was flying on Orange is the New Black, and he loved that he could, they wanted to see what a camera shot at uh, 100 feet would be. So he limited it to 100 feet, and then they wanted to see 250. So he, he liked that because then he could go as high and hard as he wants, and he's at 250 and doesn't have to worry. Absolutely, full geofencing capabilities all the way. You know, if, if you've got somebody yeah. that you want to fly with yeah. uh, and be teaching, we even have dual controller capability to where if I'm an expert I pilot. Like that. You told me this at Photo Plus. Yes. This is brilliant. This so is, talk about this because I'm huge on safety. This is, this is a great thing to be able to teach somebody without putting anybody else in danger and without endangering your device. Yeah. I can be the expert pilot. I'm tethered to the uh, second controller that you're using. So you're like the driver ed teacher. You Absolutely. got the brake pedal in the second seat. Yeah. Yep. Wow. See, so, there was more, <laughs> you know? I mean, come on, we, you laughed at me. You're like, no, and 2016, like late in the year, we, we got are, even more. We are changing the drone game completely. Wow. I predict, and, and, and we'll probably see at CES or a little bit after, other drone manufacturers are going to reduce their price because that's the only way that they're going to be able to compete. How do you come in at such a low price, seriously? That we, again, we want it to be able to be used by everybody. Uh, we could obviously no, increase the price. but it's great to say that, but to actually be able to build this, build all this technology into it, make it quality, and then give it the price you're doing, you got to be able to make money too. Uh, and we are. Yeah. And the deal is, you know, we spent years in research and development. We didn't want to just create something and throw it out to the marketplace and start making money on it. When we were coming up with the foldability, we went through multiple different uh, iterations so of let me, it. So if I, if I broke a blade, you know, sometimes you crash the thing, right? And you break a blade, hold on here, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm breaking this thing already. Just push it out there, oh, yeah. there you go. If I break, If I break one of these rotors, what do I do to replace? Oh, I see. So now. you just remove yeah. the top here, and you see you've got no uh, tools. Uh, no tool. You just spin it. Are you serious? Am I spinning it the right way, or am I going to break it? So we've got. Uh, oh yeah, unlock the other on way. There. Yeah, I should read the directions. <laughs> My wife would tell me that. 
Uh, very important for drones, always read the directions. Yeah. That's it? That's it. Uh, all right, so, okay, how much are the replacement propellers? Uh, they're like uh, $7 for See, I thought you were going to say 7000 because that's where you're going to get us. <laughs> that's where we get you. You know, like that would have been the move. You could have the drone for free. See, that's the Gillette model, right? You could that's have the razor handle for free. And the, uh, and the model for uh, just about every printer out there. Right. Although, you know, I'll tell you, the printers you do get for free, those Gillette razors, they're not cheap anymore. Those they blades. are not. I Especially got that. when we have to shave our I heads. Know. What do you use? I use the rollerball thing. I use the exact same thing. Yeah. I got like three of them. Every time I go to buy one, it kills me. I'm like, another $15 for that handle that vibrates, and all right, I'll do it. How often do you shave your head? I do it every day. Uh, every two days. You get away with every two days? If I go a day without shaving, look, I'm just not that coordinated. To do, I, you know what, I don't have fine <laughs> motor skills. No worries, I'll Hold just on, take on, it back like there this. There you go, you, you could do this. Um, if I go, I mean, I look like I've got hair. Like, but not hair, I look like I've got the ring. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can make yeah, it about two did, days. How did, how did Bruce Willis make Going Bald look so cool and die hard, and I, I could never get that widow's peak? Uh, I don't know. But it's now like, he looks like this, too. Well, it's like, who do you want to look like? Do you want to be Bruce Willis or uh, who's the guy from Star Trek? Patrick... Uh, uh, Patrick Stewart? Patrick Stewart. Yeah. I don't know. Patrick Stewart's got the better voice. I'll take Bruce Willis. There you go. I like that bankroll. <laughs> And the lineup he has. Yes. He's, he's got some good things going on. And plus, I mean, do you want to be on the Star Trek Enterprise thing, commanding it and taking yourself really that seriously? Or you want to be jumping out of buildings, holding on to fire hose and being real tough? Well, yeah, I think I would want to be the new Christmas movie. So yeah, there you go. All right, you're amazing. We got to do more. Absolutely. I, I am so glad you're on. I, that's amazing. Pro Drone tech.com uh, there you go we'll be back with a whole lot more you're live continuing CES 2016 coverage right after this don't go anywhere live from Las Vegas take it away please Peter